What's up, everybody? This is Jay from Jay Mini Shell Garage coming at you. I think this is part three of my senior build. Got a lot done. Um, yeah. Let me uh, turn this around here and I'll get busy showing to you. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. All right, we're gonna start with the bottom of this bad boy. Got her blacked out. It's a little chrome on the bottom, not much. A little bit of detail, I didn't wanna to do too much to it. Since you know it was back in the day. Focus, there we go. Excuse me. There's that. Now, I hope you guys are pleased with this interior. I took it to kind of to another level. Here we go. Don't look too hateful. Made the seat belts in the back. Photo etched locks or latches. Yeah, I know they're on top of the seat belt, so I had a brain fart when I was doing them. Made a custom little roll bar. Something like they'd put in back in the day. Keep everybody safe. Now the seats. Seats come out of a 96 Camaro I got I had. Old parts car. I bought it in a bag kit. I didn't like the seats that was in this kit. You put them together and they look kind of funky. And these right here is kind of like a lower. See how they sit lower? The other one sit kind of tall. I didn't like that. So I used these. Detailed a lot of handles. The locks that are the handles to get out. Roll handles in the back. I put one of my uh, 3D printed B&M shifters in there. Courtesy of Rick over there at Rusty Rotors. Thank you, sir. Detailed little pedals. Yeah, that roll bar was kind of a bitch to make. There's that. Now this dash turned out pretty slick. It's hard to see it though. It don't focus like I want it to. I hand painted everything with a toothpick. You can see the radio, the knobs, the switches, the vents, the little arms and the speedometer, the clock. I haven't done the one in the steering wheel yet. I just put the steering wheel on it. Yeah, I wish I had a better light. You can really see that, but I don't have one. You can kind of see his little arms in there like that. There you go. But it looks pretty decent. All we did is glue that bad boy in. And the interior is finished. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to glue it in right now while we're talking about it. I just finished painting the steering wheel and everything. And, uh, gluing it in. That's the only reason I didn't have it glued in yet. Clamp on it, bad boy. Squeeze her together. Here we go. All right. Now, for the main attraction. The engine. All right, here we go, fellas. All aluminum. 
big block. 396. Homemade solder headers. Focus, damn it. Everything on this has got aluminum oil filter cover. It is plumbed and wired. You can't really see the wires. The thing needs to focus for real. It's got a simulated uh, throttle cable. Simulated little spring right there. Return spring. It's got a fuel line. It's got wires, plugs. It's got one wire for the starter. Wire for the coil. It does have adapters. Which I am going to run... Some piping down it. I might have to adapt it down just one more size. To get them to fit right. Actually, I might have to go to the hobby store and get some piping. But it's going to run out like that. I got some um, 3D printed flow masters from Northwind Customs. When I had him make me a couple, I didn't make me a bunch of them. I'm going to probably run these underneath of it. Oh, that one's got a busted nipple on it. <laughs> he said nipple. Early in the morning. There we go. Nice little flow masters. You got your inlets and your outlets. I'm going to probably run me a set of these on it. Which, where'd that pipe go? If I remember right. That's the same size. Pitch right on there, see? So, I just had to give me an adapter to go down from there to there. That way... We can have straight headers, straight pipe to the mufflers. All right. Oh, yeah. And the carburetor. I didn't like the, the kit carburetor to come on. This is one of the big Demon 850s. We're going to make sure he gets a lot of fuel for it. But that came off of this kit right here. I bought this for parts years ago, and I opened it up, and it was junk, but it had the carburetors with it, so I decided to use it. So, on that note, it's got a monster carburetor. Damn it, it didn't take Uh, and uh, story goes, the carburetors in the kit was junk, so we had to put it on, beef her up. She wouldn't get enough fuel. And, as you see here, I had to make it fit the motor mounts, the training mount, everything, with the headers. And that was a bane, and that was a chore in itself. But as you see, she fits in good. An exhaust will run right like that. Run perfect. Pipes come down right here. 
Now, hopefully, I'll put the mufflers right here in that dimple. There's that. Okay, here's the body. As you can tell, party clean, straight and primer, ready for now. Oh, I got the firewall put in, master cylinder put in it, uh, ready for light sandy, then should be ready for paint. Got a couple little spots that I gotta get out, no big deal. But we're leaving for vacation today. And we'll be back like on the 22nd. So I'm going to let it sit. Put the spoiler on it. It's got the bottom chin piece put on it. And I sanded the corners. And rounded them off. Um, it looks decent with the front end on it. As you can tell. Got chin spoiler on it. Oh yeah, here's the hood. Everything's been double primered. I'm just waiting on the hood scoop to come in. For my buddy Rick over Rusty Rotors, he's supposed to send them out this week. So when I get back, it should be here. Other than that, everything's looking good. Everything's going down right. Uh... Oh, yeah, I did get something today for it. My buddy, Gary over there at Blue, Blue Ridge Models, sent me this shop card. If you ain't registered or subscribed to him, check him out. Good words on the back. Thank you, sir. He actually sent me the, the decals for it. The kiss my ass decals. But it's, man, I really, really appreciate that, buddy. Really appreciate that. I will use a lot of these on this car. So, alrighty. Well, I gotta get off here and head to the doctors and get everything ready to hit the road.